it's the 16th of February, 2023. And in this video, I wanna talk about mind control and broadcast stuff to, to help you understand it because uh, people have a like a big misconception. When you say mind control, that can kind of mean a lot, you know, a lot of things. And people get this image in their head about, you know, like I'm just gonna walk out into traffic because I'm on mind control. and. And that's not how mind control is, and that's not really. And and when you're talking about neuro monitoring and uh, EMF broadcast on your neurological frequency, it, it's not mind control in that way. So let me kind of break it down for you. All right, um, we'll start with the the most severe form of mind control, and this is all the same thing. It just, uh, it's a matter of um, how it can affect you and uh, probably how um, powerful they adjust the broadcast um, power. So now you know what it's like to be in like a subconscious state, like if you were asleep um, and you weren't really aware or able, and some people are kind of aware in their sleep. I'm kind of aware in my sleep and, and some people are, but some people are not. Okay. And, um, but the subconscious state is what I'm getting at. Uh, I guess a better example would be like, if you ever knew somebody that got way too drunk on alcohol and they were like blacked out, but they were, they were still up and active or whatever. That's like a subconscious state. You know, when people are saying stuff that they don't, they don't know what they're talking about or they're saying stuff that's like subconsciously, they really feel that way, but they, um, they shouldn't be saying that, you know. Uh, but people act in a subconscious way. Like, that's a subconscious state. And if you were in a subconscious state, then to receive broadcast would have a much greater success with being able to mind control you. So, uh, because people get worried, like, well, what if they control me to do this? And what if they control me to do that? And you'll hear some people talk about, you know, they, they control my body to do weird stuff or they, they control. So mind control is not really like that in this sense. Now, also for a gang stalker, somebody that has access to neuromonitoring monitoring and is doing mind control activities intentionally, they wear something on their head. They call it a mind control, and it's just, it looks kind of like an EEG device. And uh, typically it'll wrap around their head like a band and have like some little emitters on it, or it'll be like the whole head thing that like goes over the ears, the ears would be exposed, and then like straps around their chin. I, I've, seen, uh, I've seen them with a couple different kinds. And, but usually they'll have on something over their eyes as well. And in that case, they are more susceptible to mind control because that thing that they're wearing on their head acts as an amplifier to what they're receiving. So, you know, a lot of times um, guys and girls get together on mind control and like, you know, mind control each other or whatever. So it, it, can, it can get crazy, but this is a choice that they make with that thing that they're wearing on their head that they call the mind control. They call it a mind control. Um, the mind control headset, you know, and if you really look around the internet, you can find, um, you know, just to give an example, uh, to, to kind of reinforce the possible, uh, the, that it is possible, you can actually find mind control things online on a consumer level like um, like a remote controlled helicopter or something like that that you you put on a mind control thing and actually control it or, or you know there's there's people that wear like mind control devices that you know are, are uh, paraplegic or something and they can actually control a computer by thinking about things and stuff like that so um, so mind control devices that you can wear they they exist and uh, but gang stalkers have a, a uniquely modified version that uh, receives and amplifies the satellite broadcast from neural monitoring. So that would be another case where somebody could actually be mind controlled, but 
typically that's something that they agreed to, at least up front, um, then decided to do that. But as far as us, like, and, and being mind controlled, I would be willing to bet that there's some people out there that do not have that strong of a mind that probably could be at least influenced by mind control. But what you're really dealing with is you're receiving something and it's somebody else's thoughts or if it's sound, which is not really sound, it's, um, it's a signal and it comes out as sound like artificial broadcast telepathy, but it's, it's not actual sound like sound waves. It's more of a signal. And the only reason that you're able to interpret it is because it's on your neurological broadcast frequency. And they're doing that with neural monitoring and connecting with you unconsensually to be able to communicate with you that way. Um, so again, you got to get your neural monitoring just like they have it. The only way they can do that is because they have theirs. And then they have theirs and they access yours. They can make that connection and communicate with you in that way. Uh, just to say the least, they can do a lot of things, but that's, um, that's a more typical thing that more people would have experienced. Okay. But, um, when you receive something, it's just like, if I tell you right now, um, you know, uh, hit the like and subscribe button. We'll say that, um, are you going to do it? Probably not. Do you, could, you heard me, right? Okay. So that doesn't mean you're going to do it just because you heard it. So you're receiving things just like you would receive sound. It's a little different, but, but overall, it's just like that. That's mind control. You're receiving it. It's not yours. So you're receiving a thought in your mind that somebody else thought of. And, you know, to decipher the difference is a, a big deal, you know, to know that I didn't just think that. One of you idiots just thought that. One of you gang stalking idiots just thought that. So that's something that you'll learn if you've been having this experience for a while. You'll start to decipher the difference. Um, and still, it's, it's not something that's going to mind control you. Okay. Now, if you've got a bunch of people doing stuff like that to you all the time, you have to really make sure that you're thinking for yourself. Like if you find yourself doing something that, that you're just being influenced to do, and it's not who you are, like, but most people are not just gonna do stuff like that. But the more of a subconscious state you're in, the more likely you would be to be influenced by mind control. Okay, so um, if you're being gang stalked, you don't wanna, you don't want to take a bunch of Xanax or start getting wasted and drinking a lot and stuff like that because then they're going to have more influence over you with mind control broadcast. But overall, they cannot really mind control people. And so that's like a big concept, misconception because when, when you say mind control, it leads to a, immediately having a certain perception in your mind about what that means. And it doesn't mean what that perception usually would be. Uh, when, if, if I say mind control, you would think you're being mind controlled and you have no control over it. Somebody else is able to control you. And that's just not true. Now, they can have some influence if you let them. And certain circumstances could give them even more influence if you put yourself in that situation. But overall, you are able to think for yourself. And... That, that's it. Um, now, moving on as far as broadcast telepathy. Now, this is, this is something that you may have experienced. Uh, if, if you're hearing them talk to you in a, in a way that seems to be out loud. Now, nobody else is going to hear it because it's on your neurological broadcast frequency. Just like um, a cell phone, the signal with the conversations is flying through the air but my cell phone only has uh, the ability to receive those signals that are on my cell phone's frequency. Same with us, right? You don't hear Hot 107.9 and 99.7 flying through the air. You know they're there, they're signals. But when you receive them on something that's tuned to that frequency, and then it can come out as sound. 
The same with you. If they're on your neurological broadcast frequency, you can hear it like it's sound, but it's not. It's a signal. You can hear it like it's sound, but other people are not going to hear it because they're not you and they don't have, they're not tuned to the same frequency. So you, you would have, that's how it works. It's a signal and it's on your neurological frequency. And that's why you can hear it and nobody else can hear it. So the more you try to say, oh, listen, listen to this recording, you know, and gang stalkers love to be in your recording, but that's really them right now. Pretending like they're in the recording. It's like one of their favorite games to play. And you're trying to convince people, listen to this, listen. You hear them? You hear them? They're like, no, you must be crazy. No, I don't hear anything. You know, and we've all been through that. We've all been through that. But that's why. Because they're not going to hear it. Because it's not on their frequency. And you are hearing it because it is. And even though we know all these signals are flying through the air, you don't hear them all. Unless you have yourself or some device that's tuned to the right frequency to receive that. All right, so now about broadcast telepathy, when they're talking to you and you're hearing them and um, you're receiving that on your frequency. And when you're receiving that, say they're talking, right? They're talking, well, here you go. You want to talk along with them. You want to. You have to learn to break off and refrain from that. And that's something that, like, uh, you know, this, the one guy, James, that was on my channel, he was the main gang stalker, Black James, uh, back in 2015 and 16. He was the first guy to come on full time and stay for a long time. And um, he would be talking, and I would just be talking along with him, right? And it was right in the beginning. And he would say, I could talk for myself, Kevin. And I felt stupid because it kind of was mind controlling me, at, at least to say what he was saying. I wasn't even saying it out loud. I might have just been saying it in my mind or, or like mouthing my lips or something like that. Um, but to them, through broadcast telepathy, it's like I'm saying it out loud anyway. And I felt stupid. And you actually have to learn to control your mind when you receive something to not receive it so um, powerfully that it makes, it makes you go along with it as far as like repeating it. and or Not even repeating it, just talking along with them. But still, again, that's not really causing you to act some action out in real life. That's something that you might, at the very most, be doing like that, mouthing along with somebody that's talking to you. Because it gives you the urge to talk along with them because you're receiving this on your neurological frequency. So it gives you the urge to talk along with them. And in time, you kind of learn to definitely to stop doing any physical uh, talk along. You're not going to talk out loud with them. You're not going to mouth along with them. Um, but you'll even get to the point to where you won't even let your mind uh, receive it to whatever portion of your mind to, to make it feel like you're talking along with them. And so artificial telepathy broadcast, all this broadcast stuff in general is mind control um, by definition, but it's not actually like mind control that's got you walking around like a zombie doing whatever you're told. It doesn't work that way, and it's, it's never worked that way for me. And um, you really, if they're, if they're gang stalking you and trying to say a bunch of stuff to you, they're, they're usually trying to create some false circumstance in your mind so they can have a subject to sit there and harp on while they do their, their little show about your life, their EMF broadcast show that they're doing. Uh, so, you know, you, you learn to just think every time that they want to talk, like, stop begging for my attention. You know, you, you, you want to be a part of my life so bad. Like, why do you need a man's attention so bad? Um, you know, and you'll start, wow, you're so dumb. Like, wow, you're so dumb. And these will be the thoughts that go through your mind every time they talk. And you're, you'll never buy into the stupid little stuff that they say. Um, it's just, it's fun for them. It's fun for them to do that. They love mind control in that way. They love, they love for you to make them talk. So like if they're talking and you could just like change the direction of their sentence and make them say something else by thinking at them because they're connected to you and they're with they have on the headset, it's like an amplifier and they're receiving you in a, in a more strengthened signal than you're receiving them. So 
um, you're kind of like analog, but they're receiving a power of uh, amplified digital signal, you know, and they want to be mind controlled. So they'll sit there and say what you're thinking or say what you're saying and say what you're thinking. And it's like they're announcing it for their live stream, you know, and, and I've played into it before, you know, where um, I would even do like, like telepathic music where, you know, I'll think of, think of like beats in my mind and, and have three or four of them doing different sounds of like, it's like I'm using them to make music with my mind. And it gets very real. Like it's, it's, it's almost fun when, when stuff like that's going on, but you have to realize that they are, they're receiving that and they're putting out a live stream EMF broadcast of your remote neural monitoring and they're probably making money off of it. And this is what they do all day, every day. So you really can't give them that kind of attention. Um, you, you, you know, it's all bad attention. And that's what it resorts to them physically attacking me with little broadcasts and stuff. Um, you know, when they're on mind control and they connect to like a little hologram and, and you know, jump on you and do stuff to you and, and try to hurt you. And it, a lot of times they don't have nothing else. They, they have nothing else for you. You know, they, they're, they're all out of ideas. So this is what they're resorting to. And um, the really strange part about it is that if you get some people that like the way that your mind works, they'll stay. They'll stay because they're receiving, they're receiving your private thoughts, really. And they know what you're thinking. If you, they, can, they know what you see. And because your mind, your, your eyes are just a reflective thing in there that are hooked up to your mind. And so they see that reflection and then put it into your mind and your mind interprets that. So if you have vision, it's, it's in your mind. And it, it seemed like it would be in your eyes. Your eyes are just the, 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 the camera, I guess you would say. And the, your mind is like the memory card or whatever, the, the processor and the memory card. That's how you see. So when they receive your neurological processes, they see what you see. And, um, and you know, and also... Uh, if you close your eyes and imagine, you know, like if I close my eyes and imagine a blue Smurf chasing Gargamel or whatever, like they'll see that image that I'm seeing in my mind if I imagine something. They can see that. That's also uh, part of the vision thing that they can receive, um, you know, and every other thought. And, you know, and, the, and a, a difficult thing is that they can see you. They can see what you see. So obviously you have no privacy, uh, you have no, your thoughts aren't private and your body is not private and they can watch you take showers, whether you're, uh, you know, a, a devout religious person that stays covered up or anything else, they can see you and, um, and it's the same for everybody in the whole world. There's nobody that's safe from that if you don't have your neural monitoring. So it's very much a violation of people's privacy and people's uh, spiritual beliefs and practices um, and all of that. And just the, the fact that they are receiving the private thoughts from your mind and invading your, your mind and your body in that way, it's unprecedented. And, and it's war. It's really war. They're, to, they're waging war. They're waging war against us anybody that doesn't have it and they think they're that cool because they got it so they're, they have this mentality you know i can do whatever i want i can do whatever i want but i'm going to continue to stir things up and it's going to get pretty nasty uh because i don't like what they're doing to me and i don't like what they're doing to my people and i don't like them being involved with my life at any level i don't i wouldn't have them reading my uh social media posts much less my mind. These idiots, I want them gone out of my life. Uh, but at this point, it's been a decade and they've cost me a lot. And they're still costing me. They've cost me um, family situations and um, relationship situations and a lot of money, physical health and, um, you know, psychological health. It's miserable. It's miserable to have to deal with these idiots all day, every day. And, and I'll get back to that. All day, every day. They love the way your mind works. All right? And 
a uh, long time ago, I used to use this analogy, but I'm going to use it again. Uh, if you're just some idiot and you can connect to a rocket scientist and receive their thoughts in a way that's comprehensive to you, you are mind blown because you're just some idiot. Now you understand rocket science. And so that's the capabilities. And if you are a smart person, and you got all these idiots that love to be connected to you. That's why. And they won't go away. They will stay and stay and stay and stay. And for me, some of these guys have been here for a decade. Literally a decade. And I should have got my act together a long time ago. And started down the correct pathway to be able to get rid of them. All right. And, and to hold them accountable. Because like I said, there's a lot of liabilities. They've cost me a lot. And my time is the most important, most expensive, valuable thing that they've cost me. Second to that is uh, the people in my life that they've affected and my relationships with family and otherwise. And aside from that, the, the physical health and uh, the psychological and emotional health and the financial effects that it's had on my life. All of those things. And the frustration and the pain and suffering. And you're talking about a lot of liabilities here. And I've been through all the government agencies and the police filing numerous, countless, uh, legitimate police reports and reports to the FBI and all kinds of stuff about legitimate crimes. Not even talking about neural monitoring. I steered away from that because of the way that they approach you when you come at them that way. I went into it about like computer hacking laws and there is a lot of laws about computer hacking and so i studied up on that and that's what i started to file my stuff about and i could prove a lot of it and still they didn't call me back they didn't call so now they're liable for a lot too now they're liable for a lot too not to mention these gang stalkers that destroy your property and everything else um you know but um basically that's that's kind of how mind control works and how gang stalking works. They love to be connected to you. They love it. They won't go away. Here's what you got to do about it. All right. Because everything that they do is on the internet. That's how it works. You got earth, right? And then you got satellites that orbit the earth. There's, I think around 5,000, four to 5,000 satellites orbiting the earth. All right. That we know of that are, that are documented. Okay, four to 5,000 satellites. And it's not just government satellites. Private companies send satellites in, into space. And, you know, uh, Zuckerberg sent satellites out there. Elon Musk got satellites out there. Um, you know, they're flying them out there. He's flying them out there with SpaceX. So, um, you know, it's not just governments that have satellites out there. There's a lot of satellites out there, four to 5,000 that are documented that we know of. All right. And so this satellite broadcast system, and I believe this is what the, the space race was really about back in like the 50s and 60s, uh, was getting a bunch of satellites up there because they discovered how neurological broadcast frequencies could be received. All right. And then, yes, over time, they've been able to map out all of the neurological processes in a computer programming type of way. Um, but it's ultimately, it's a satellite broadcast system, EMF. The electromagnetic field of Earth is like an infrastructure, just like cell phones. You got a tower, a tower, a tower. You know, the phone calls this phone, and it goes from the phone to the tower to the tower to the tower to the phone. All right, but with EMF, this, electro, this electromagnetic field, it's an energy field that wraps around the whole Earth. It's everywhere. So you don't need a, a, a system of towers or anything like that. These satellites just broadcast, and EMF is like the energy field, the infrastructure. Okay, so, uh, and neurological broadcast frequencies, it's what we have, and that's how they're able to have, connect everybody, and, and the whole world is on neural monitoring. Every person is on neural monitoring. From probably before you're born, you're on neural monitoring. As soon as you're able to have a unique broadcast neurological frequency, then you are on neural monitoring, and this satellite system can pick you up and read you. Okay, I believe that neural monitoring was leaked probably back in the 90s, um, you know, maybe as far back as the 80s for like elite people, but 
you didn't have computers and stuff back then really, so you would have had to been at like a, a FBI warehouse or somewhere that you had the right equipment to do that kind of thing or radio experts and all kinds of stuff. But uh, come to the like 90s and people started to have personal computers and access to the internet. And that's when this thing started to get leaked out there and then around maybe 08, 09, 10, when cellular devices, portable mobile devices uh, became internet worthy uh, at that point, like smartphones, iPhones, all of that. Uh, that's when the thing really started blowing up and you started having people everywhere talking about uh, being targeted by gang stalkers and all of this stuff started going on. Well, I believe that people started to leak this technology out to the general public because definitely 100% general public people have it. I know a bunch of people that have it. I know people that didn't have it and got it. I know people that have it that I don't know how long they've had it. I know a bunch of people that have it. And I know how this works. I'm not lying to you. If I wasn't sure, I would say, well, maybe I don't know. But I'm, cer I'm certain. I'm sure about it. So I know how this works. And regular people can get, you can get your neural monitoring. Okay? You really can. And uh, it really comes down to a lot of, like somebody could give it to you and show you how to do it. If they, you know, if they love you that much and they want you to be able to protect yourself and your family, they would give it to you. Um, but, you know, if, if, if um, they'd rather be connected to you unconsensually or watch other people torture you or whatever, um, maybe nobody will give it to you. Maybe nobody loves you. I don't know. But I think there's some people that will probably help me. And, um, you know, may, maybe I won't have to stir up enough civil unrest before it happens, but um, definitely 100% uh, okay with doing that with stirring up the pot till it boils, overflows everywhere, and the FBI, CIA dumped me in the middle of the ocean with Jaws. All right, I'm, I, I'm completely okay with taking that route. I, I already feel like my life is sacrificed. I can't have a relationship or, uh, or do the things that I want to do without it being completely miserable and compromised because of them, because they want to try to control all those aspects of my life to protect their interests. They want to be on my neural monitoring all the time. Anyway, so, um, you know, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with stirring the pot if that's the route I have to take. Meanwhile, I'm definitely into, like, learning about computer programming, uh, all the network stuff. I'm, I'm going to be studying it, like, every day on my own. I've been studying network stuff lately, um, trying to see if I can get... Uh, you know, my phones to be rooted and jailbroken so I can really start to get into those uh, to the fullest extent. And, um, you know, you're going to want to have a laptop and like Xcode and Android Studio and all of those kind of things and work on jailbreaking and look into understanding what DNS and localhost is and um, start to learn about all the network protocols. And it, that's going to take some time and it gets advanced. Uh, but that's how you can get your neural monitoring, you know to learn all of those stuff and programming too, uh, all of it. You need to know a lot. Uh, if you're gonna get it on your own, you need to know a lot. And so I'm in school second year for programming, but I'm also studying all the other aspects of computer science, even on my own, on my own time. And it's pretty much all I do. And, um, you know, recently they've interfered uh, more with my personal life and, uh, you know, trying to dictate who um, uh, who I'm going to be able to associate with and stuff like that. And you know what? If I have to be alone and do it myself, that's fine. It's a, I'm okay with that too. Uh, it's, it's not what I choose, you know. When it comes to friends and family and relationships and all of that, um, you know, that's important to me. And they've been crossing the line with that for far too long. And it's really time to destroy them. So I have to learn a lot. I have to get my money up real high. I have to learn as much as I can, and I have to make sure that I stay um, level-headed and continue to push this information out to all of you guys so I'm not having to do this on my own still. You know, at 10, by the way, just passed 9,000 subs. Thank you all, and I hope you'll continue to watch these videos. I know it gets wild sometimes, and uh, I know, like a lot of times, I say the same things, and um, 
but ultimately I need to document what's happening. I need to document what's happening and put out as much as I can. And it's not always very professional, but, uh, but it's the actual truth. It really is. And when, when I'm talking about all this, these steps you need to take, everything they do is online. The satellite broadcast system is linked into the internet. Now, if they're accessing it through some special program or uh, some sort of command line prompt or some kind of website they're able to access, uh, I know there's more steps than just typing in some website, okay? You would definitely have to have your network configuration set uh, properly. And, and all of these things are stuff that I'm working on to put myself in a position to be able to be in that position, to get neural monitoring and to be able to stop them from doing stuff to my devices and stop them from being able to gang stalk me, period. And, and uh, you know, hopefully along the way, uh, back them in a the corner with a bunch of evidence that says, you're a criminal, you're guilty of all these things for a decade, and uh, this is what I want, and, uh, you know, file warrants or do whatever it is I have to do, get lawyers and, um, you know, but that's where I'm headed. That's where we're headed because that's the right direction. The police aren't going to help us unless we force them to help us, and we can force them. We can force them to help us by holding them accountable and liable and proving what they're supposed to be proving. All right, and then we, then we can also be uh, paid for doing their job. All right, so, um, you know, doctors, probably not gonna help you. If they're hurting you real bad, go to the doctor, make sure you're okay, but, um, you know, and I'm gonna try to get medical documentation of broadcast, uh, the effects of broadcast, torture and everything else. Um, but what I'm not gonna do personally is go and have some uh, psychiatrist tell me that I, I, I need to be on some kind of medication, um, which, you know what? I've been committed before. My family had me committed way back seven, eight, nine years ago, whenever this started happening. And I went through the whole process and I got the paperwork saying that I'm just fine. No uh, psychological disorders or problems whatsoever, not none. All right, and I got... The, I got paperwork from that. So I feel good about that because I already know that anyway. And you all know that, but you got those people and typically they're gang stalkers and they'll come out and say, get help, man. Psychological help. You're, you're, you're nuts and all this stuff. Why are you even on my channel? Why are you here watching these videos? If, if you don't know something about all of this, um, but you know, a psychiatrist is in the business of people being crazy and look around, look around at, I, I bet you half of the people, you know, are on some kind of psychological prescription, whether it be Xanax or Adderall or Zoloft or something else, something, not me, never me, but these people are all on something. And they're not all crazy. These are personality traits. If they think that they can take this pill or that pill to fix this and that, these people are just experiencing life and emotional things. And it doesn't fix your problems. It just makes you not care about them. It makes you not care. And um, the pharmaceutical is one of the biggest businesses in the world. Right on up there with like oil and, and stuff like that. It's huge business. These companies make like, like 20 and $50 billion a year. That's like $20,000 million a year. So it's big business, right? I, I used to... I used to be close with somebody and they worked at a, a doctor's office and the representatives for the pharmaceutical companies would come in and they would give them all kinds of stuff. I, I they, um, you know, it was a girl that I knew back in the day and she wasn't interested. So she would give me stuff that they gave her and it would be like court side, half court, right at the front row tickets to the, you know, the Hawks game and stuff like that, you know, and, and all they want them to do was uh, prescribe people to their medicine, medication, you know, and they were bringing them like gift cards to like all these restaurants and, and sporting event tickets and all kinds of stuff. So they're giving doctors and, and these uh, doctors, office companies and psychiatrists and all of them, they're, they're getting money from under the table, you know. Uh, and it's illegal to, to be getting money under the table, but I, you know, I don't, I think it is, I don't know, but, but that's how this works. It's, it's a big money game and they want everybody to be zombies on uh, medication and all of that. So uh, it's, it's not the right pathway for most people. 
Um, you know, I can really speak for myself only because I don't want to be, I don't want to be giving medical advice, but I don't think that it's very necessary for most people. And I think that it's a big time uh, financial scandal, the whole thing. I think it's a big scandal and I think a bunch of people are like zombies now walking around, not caring about their problems, still got the same problems. They just don't care that much anymore. Still got the same problem. And, uh, you know, and it would be the same if, if um, you can't block a broadcast with a medication. That I know of, I don't think that's possible just yet. Um, you know, and that's what we're dealing with. Neurological broadcasts and a satellite broadcast system, and it's all online, and these gang stalkers are accessing it online. They're using virtual devices and hosting packages and a bunch of sketchy stuff to hide everything, and we can do exactly what they are doing. We just have to take the time to start learning all this stuff. And I've seen people that, that get neural monitoring that start from the bottom, and they start learning about... Uh, you know, networks and virtual devices and, um, you know, Android developer study and stuff like that all the time when typically uh, or, or initially they weren't even a person that had a computer or cared about anything like that. You know, so um, that's pretty much what's going on. I, I've talked for too long on this one, but I wanted to put all of this out there about mind control, how it works, and uh, kind of just in general talking, I guess is what it turned out to be. But thank you guys for watching. I'm glad to be at 9,000 subscribers. I hate to have to put out public videos like this. I've always hated it. It's embarrassing, but I get 100 messages a day, people telling me that, thank you so much, it's helped me so much, and um, and that's rewarding. And, you know, I, I'll always leave the, the information out there for the most part, just uh, because I know it helps people, and I know I know how hard it is. I've been through this for a decade, literally with gang stalking, artificial broadcast telepathy and all the broadcast stuff and uh, remote neural monitoring and just gang stalking. I've dealt with it for the whole time, like 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You don't get five minutes. Um, you know, the only reason that uh, I'm able to do this is because they're paying attention. They're, they're entertained right now. And so that I stay very busy all the time because of that. Because as soon as I just, if I do like this, Hey, 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 I got four or five guys begging for a man's attention. That quick, that quick. And so I think, okay, what do I need to do? I need to do something else because I, I, I don't want them to be a part of my life. So that's where I'm at. Um, hit me with the questions in the comments. And thank you guys for watching. And I'll be back again real soon.